Labels were important. Um, you again, because you know, obviously, um, you came from Nigeria. That you've told us the story. How important was it to you that they they adopted you? They brought you back here, and that you're part of their family. I think it's always a challenge when you have children. Um, you know, they cost you twenty thousand pounds, and they often slag you off at parties. It's always going to be a challenge. <laughs> you know, let's be honest. But it's just such a wonderful gift to give somebody a hope and a real chance in life. Mm. Because we know that the longer you, you are in care, the longer the system drags out, that's when more emotional problems can actually arise. And especially for children, little boys past the age of seven or for little girls past the age of eight, it's more difficult for you to get home. And by then, you've got more problems and issues. So the sooner we get the system moving, the sooner we get children into homes, or even temporary foster homes yeah. as well, leading to adoption. That's a brilliant um, bit of legislation as well. It's really exciting. And you were a lovely advert for it as well. <laughs> <laughs> Joy, thank you very much. Thank you for your time this thank morning. You. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hello again, welcome back. Now, the Prime Minister set his sights on reforming the adoption system in England today, saying young lives are being wasted by unnecessary delays. David Cameron said he particularly wants to end what he called the absurd barriers that mean that black children wait twice as long as white children to be adopted. Here's Nina Nanau. Joy Carter was adopted as a baby in Nigeria by white parents who were missionaries. Returning to England and living in a mainly white area brought its challenges, she says, but having a loving home was all that mattered, regardless of race. It is such an emotive subject, and it, it, can, it can hurt, it can hinder. There's good, situ there's good stories I hear, people have been adopted, there's heartbreaking stories, but the bottom line is you're giving somebody a chance, a real chance to have a life and to live and to grow up in a loving family, and that is beyond words. That possibility is priceless.